be blessed by the divine. Previously, conversion of magnetism was going on at a normal pace and now an accelerated rate of conversion ensues, making the molecular structure of the receiving beings work more vigorously. According to the intensity of the induced and accelerated conversion rate. If the accelerated conversion is within the tolerance limits of the senses, and if the conversion of magnetism releases only surplus energy, the feeling will be pleasurable. But when the conversion level of magnetism exceeds the tolerance limit of the senses, or depresses the stock of biomagnetism below the minimum critical level required to maintain the existence and survival of the living being, then a feeling of pain results. This phenomenon has previously been illustrated in the second chapter with the examples of light and taste conversion. After understanding the physical transformation of biomagnetism and mind, Man has to keep all his enjoyments within certain limits because every pleasure signifies the expenditure of his own biomagnetism. Any pleasure continued for a longer time will exhaust the surplus energy and disturb the molecular arrangements of the senses. This will result in pain or discomfort. What I have detailed above should be sufficient for the spiritual aspirant to understand the body, soul and mind and their interactive functions. Biomagnetism is extremely important in the relationship of soul and mind and in all the activities of man. Everyone should know its value and the art of storing, conserving and using it so as to derive pleasure and ecstasy or maintain a peaceful state, avoiding all pain. In the next chapter, I will explain how personal magnetism is affected by one's own actions as well as actions and clashes from outside. Be blessed by the Divine. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit SimplifiedKundaliniYoga.com to begin your journey of consciousness today.